Hey there and welcome. My name is Cam Flurry from academy.cameronflurry.com and today you're going to learn how to apply the single inverted paradiddle to your metal drumming. It's a really sick sticking and it makes you sound like the drummer from Gojira. So this is what you're going to learn. Before we get into the breakdown of what the sticking is and how to apply it and how to come up with really sick patterns just from rudiments and applying it to the drum set, I want to let you know that the doors have just opened to my metal drumming coaching community. The doors are only open for this week only. You can go find the link to that down in the description below and you can check it out all out and see what all the details are inside there. So if you're not familiar with the paradiddle at all, it's just basically like this right, left, right, right, and then it exchanges over to the left hand, left, right, left, left. If you don't know what it is, this is what it sounds like. Now the inverted paradiddle is basically turning that pattern backwards. And what's really cool about that is it completely changes the feel and how that whole pattern sounds. So it doesn't sound robotic. And we'll get to adding double bass and all that stuff later, but first let's learn how to play the single inverted paradiddle. In the single paradiddle, we're just playing two singles and then two doubles. Now with the inverted single paradiddle, we're playing two doubles and two singles. So basically it's flipped backwards. So it's right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. With that basic understanding in mind, why don't we move it over to the ride symbol like you've seen earlier? We can start it off with a single paradiddle just to get the feel. Pretty basic. Now when we want to add some more dynamic to the groove, we can put the accent with the left hand on the back beats. Okay, so that gets that out of the way. Now when we go to do the single inverted paradiddle, we're gonna just try and play the basic pattern first so we can get it down and internalized into our muscle memory. So again, it's right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Follow along with me. Now by adding double bass, it's gonna be pretty easy, especially if we're playing 16th notes with our hands. Because what you're really looking to achieve here is to lock in your feet with your hands. And that's one way to know if you're playing the right sticking and if you're in time and it feels good. If you wanna get this pattern really tight, then I suggest you start off slow because if you try and go fast right out of the gate, you're not really gonna understand how to play different dynamics and what the sticking is actually doing. So I suggest taking this slow. And what I do is just break it down to like an eighth note figure or just really slow 16th notes. Instead of just playing the pattern between the two elements or the two surfaces on the drum set like that, why don't we start to add dynamics with the bell on our ride? Things can get really interesting. So. So again, for this week only, my metal drumming coaching community is open for enrollment. And if you want to learn all the details, you can find the link to that down in the video's description below. And I hope to see you inside. You could really go deep with one single sticking on a drum set. So just keep in mind, 
to take action on that one sticking and don't just limit yourself to playing between the ride and the snare drum and maybe add some different kick patterns under there as well. So if you want to learn how to get better double bass drumming, then just go to this playlist right now and check out all the other videos I made to help you become a better double bass drummer.